Hello, welcome to the first video of 2024. Hopefully everybody's all right and you've had a good festive period or whatever you get up to. Now be honest with me, how many of you watching opened a present and it was a Lynx deodorant set and you was like, great, a lot of thought went into that. How many? Be honest, in the comments, leave me uh, what you got, what you didn't really appreciate. I don't appreciate that, but what I do appreciate is a really nice lawn. Now I've been working here for a couple of weeks what I promised you in the last video is that we're going to start a new job, well this is it. So what we're going to do today is, first of all I'm going to show you what we've been up to in the week and then we'll crack on with what we're going to get up to after, so let's do it. Alright, welcome to a new job. We're in Bolton, location will never be revealed, it's top secret. Can show you the house though, very nice house. Built about six years ago, so when we get on that balcony up there in the summer, we will take some great views of this lawn. What have we got? It's not the best lawn in the world and that's why I want to do the video because the owner has had it looking smart this year following the videos and when he moved in, because he didn't build the house, he moved in uh, last year. The previous owner had a lot of uh, fertiliser already in stock so he's been using that up and now he's run out, we're going to start using my stuff. So we've got quite a bit of disease, weed grasses galore. Just show you a few pictures from the summer, how good he had it. So you'll be actually quite surprised how good this lawn could actually be. And with my help, we're gonna get it even better. So the things like that, we're not gonna be able to do anything about it other than dig them out maybe, if they uh, get any bigger or maybe just dig these out, but there's some quite big patches of stuff. But you know, you just can't dig it all out. But over the years, if we just keep adding new seed to it, we can actually kind of try and mask it with and just phase it out by introducing new grasses and just scarifying regularly as well keeps it from getting uh, out of hand. Plenty of worm casts. So what we're going to do today is what he wants to do is he wants to stop the moss coming because it gets quite mossy like here. So we want to stop that in his tracks because he's done quite a big job. He's actually bought his own scarifier, big heavy metal one. So we can um, use that as well and be more um, aggressive rather than using ye old faithful because that's, uh, you know, too, this, this garden's too big for that. So we're going to go on, going to cut it, autumn punch, winter magic, inhibit liquid and then what we'll do is we'll come back after Christmas. Today is the Monday the 18th. It's Monday the 18th. It's because yesterday Liverpool drew 0-0 with Man United. Arsenal beat Brighton 2-0, so I wouldn't have known those things had it have not been yesterday. So that's this side, so I'll walk across the big gravel driveway. Over here, similar size lawn, that left one we've just been on is just a bit bigger. Um, why has it done that? It's There we go. Similar lawn, exactly the same stuff. The owner has dug down and he revealed root zone, like proper Premier League root zone with fibres in. So we think either the owner just invested in brand new root zone with the fibres in, which the roots anchor to, or the other possibility is, and I think it's more of a possibility, is that he's bought, uh, when either like Bolton or Wigan Football Club have, have skimmed their lawns off at the, the pitches off at the stadium and that, he's bought the tailings and then they've come in here and that would be a lot cheaper so we've got a football pitch uh, root zone underneath which is great because it's good drainage so yeah so let's get the mower out give it a cut with the hater and then get the products on it's just started to rain which is a shame but it's still doable Alright, so that's the lawns cut. Ended up going on number four on the head to the three was just a bit too digging in, so I just picked it up. Today we're just cutting really to get some stripes for some good application. We're not really cutting the grass, picking up a few leaves as well. That's just come because I've strimmed, decided to strim after, should have strimmed first. 
after 25 years of being in the game, you would think I would have done that, but not today. So let's just have a walk round here, see what we've got out. Got some autumn punch ready to go. I found a couple of bags in my shed. So I'm going to use them on here just to give us a bit of growth over the winter. Another reason, so the iron will hit the moss, but if we can get some growth as well, that'll help keep it in check as well. And obviously just make it look better. And then in a couple of weeks, we'll probably give it another cut and uh, we'll see how it looks, but I think it'll look pretty smart. Okay, so the autumn punch is on this left side. To save me moving the camera over there again, I'm gonna do everything this side and then go over the other side. So we're gonna go on now with Inhibit Liquid and Dan's Winter Magic. This is gonna give us a really good hit for that moss as well as giving us a lovely green up and some more feed, which can be used straight away because it's in liquid form. And what I'll do is I'm here on Boxing Day anyway because we're going watching Lincoln away. So I'll do a follow up uh, when I'm here then, if it's not covered in snow or anything like that. And then we'll come back in the new year and we'll do our um, kind of results video. So you get this video from start to finish complete. And then we'll see how it looks and see what else we can do at this time of year. So what else I'm going to do is, whilst I was mowing, I noticed a few weeds knocking about. There's a bit of buttercup on the other side, only very small, so we can hit it now, get rid of it. Some dock leaves in this side, over there somewhere. Uh, I'm going to put a bit of fungicide in, just treat this disease over there. Um, and then that will be it for today. So let's get these products on and I'll see you when we're done. So both sides done now. What a miserable day it's been. It's just a really heavy drizzle. Luckily it's not absolutely started chucking it down yet, but that's what we want now, because that'll wash in now all this fertiliser we've put on. So don't be worrying about the rain. It's absolutely fine. Let's just have a quick walk over here. Wouldn't believe how warm it is actually, even though it's miserable and wet. It's actually quite warm. So it's started to green up already a little bit, just with the iron. So yeah, so what I'll do is I'll get the owners to take some pictures uh, this week, just like maybe one tomorrow. So we've got what it looks like the day after. And then I'll, like I say, I'll come boxing day, do a little bit of a catch up then, see how it looks. And then we'll get on in January. I'll probably just start the scarifying process, like get on with it early. Then when it comes to March, we're not having to do a massive scary file at once. We've done it week by week, little by little. And we've not done too much damage in the lawn, still looks like a lawn, but yeah, it's been scarified. So yeah, looking forward to next year. So we'll see you next time, which will be in a second for you. But for me, it'll be a week. Okay, it's boxing day. We're back, it's looking really nice. Really greened up the other side. It's looking even better actually. Now, I hear you ask, why the hell are you here on Boxing Day? Because he's a good friend of mine and we go to Bolton games together a lot, the home games, all of them. But we're going to Lincoln today, so we're gonna drive to Lincoln and we're gonna show you a bit of our day. So I look forward to that. So let's go and have a look at the other side. And we'll see how that looks. All right, this side's looking nice and green as well. Don't know whether it's just the way the sun's shining. Um, that this hasn't got any sun on it yet. It's a bit deeper, greener colour. But yeah, really pleased with the results so far. So we're going to Lincoln. We're going to watch Bolton lose, no doubt. But saying that, we are on an unbeaten run. We've been going to Bolton away games for 10 years this coming year, like 2024. So our first game was Birmingham away in 2014 and we won 1-0. And we've been to a few since then, probably about seven. Or eight, maybe today I think it's our eighth, and we're still unbeaten, so we're holding on to that, and hopefully we can get three points. So I'll show you how we get on during the day. Welcome to Luxury Ratten Direct. Come and see our large range of quality garden furniture here in Bamber Bridge, Preston, or buy direct from our website with prices to suit everyone's budget and sizes to suit everyone's garden. LuxuryRattenDirect.co.uk. Shopping for garden furniture has never been so easy. 
So we're just going past the home of Bolton Wanderers, lovely stadium from afar. Got Mark, he's driving. So there we go. Best stadium in the northwest that. Even better than Old Trafford. Here's my junction, Alley, Junction 6, West Midlands, M61, Junction 3. Greg's and Acosta, last yeah. name, he's Greg's as well. Pretty accepting in that decision. Very weird looking star, but. Can you take back more important half time break? Or deposit limits to help you keep count. Manage your plane. So we've got a nice view of the cathedral up there, Central Bank. And there's the stand. I don't know where we are yet, so we're going to go and find out. Half time, nil nil. Okay, so it's the 29th of December. I've just showed you what we did on Boxing Day. It's actually greened up a bit more since then. I've got a big black, what looks like a big black rain cloud coming. So we want to get this job done pretty quick if we can. A couple of things we're going to be doing today is going to be scary fine, but it's more importantly what we're going to be doing is trying to see how much life we can get out of the Alec Sterling 10 amp battery. So that would be a good test. We've got quite a big lawns here, as you've seen. So all my other lawns, we can't really do it in one go. We have to do it over a few jobs to top up how long it goes. But it'll be interesting to see as a marker how far we can get on this lawn. So what I'll do is first, I'll scarify it and then we'll cut it with the cylinder so we can see how much we can get out of both because uh, obviously there's less resistance on the cylinder. So it will be interesting to see combined what we can get out of the battery. So let's get on with that. So for those of you who are new to the channel, this is a Alex Sterling Electric 17 inch. I've had it a year, it's looking like a lot older than that. I've just got out of the van, it was looking really sorry for itself because I put it in wet, the uh, front roller has uh, just rusted a little bit, but that'll wear off as we mow and I can always just get my little bit of wet and dry sandpaper and sand that off when we clean it. So we're gonna use the scarifying cassette today. It's got little prongs all the way along, but as you can see, there's one in every joint there so we're gonna get 100% coverage all the time so we'll do that and then we'll get it cut. I've just had a little test run and I'm happy at that I mean normally in the summer or whatever you would put it on that anywhere from here but just because it's winter and it's a little bit damp and I don't want to do too much to it we're just gonna give it a light tickle and I've just done a test bit there and that's done really well just about 16 mil. Okay, so that's the scarifying done. How much battery have we used? Two bars. I don't know how far we've got into the third bar, but that's quite pleasing because I know the cylinder isn't going to be as uh, cause as much resistance as the scarifier. So we'll definitely get this side done on one charge. Now, obviously, because we've not gone that deep with the scarifier, we've not got as much resistance going through that the through the device which is like draining the battery. So the lower you go, obviously, the more resistance you're going to create. So the battery's going to have to work harder to keep the machine going, so it's going to drain quicker. So just bear that in mind. I wouldn't be able to go down on like in the summer, really deep, to do like a nice groom, and expect to just use two batches. I would probably use the whole thing. So just bear that in mind when planning your day. So let's have a look at what we took out. All that has come out. So what we've done is picked up a lot of all the, all the ash, uh, spinning jenny things that have dropped but branches and just general thatch 
So that's going to help us when we go on with our cylinder so we don't damage our cylinder blade. So what we'll do now, put the cylinder attachment in and get that cut and we'll see how it looks. Okay, so the cylinder attachment back in. From around the side, I've just put it up to 27 and just done a test run and that seems okay. So we'll just keep it at that. If it needs to come down, I'll go up, I can adjust it as I go, but we'll start at that and see how we get on. So that's the first side done, looks great. Now, don't be thinking Britney's coming out, because she's not. This is all smoke and mirrors, it's just case. So getting the scarifier, giving the grass, getting all those grasses upright and straight, and then cutting it, and it's just an illusion up close. It's just all flat and long, so. Just looks good. What we're doing is, we're just keeping our minds in the game because it would be very easy just to say, yeah, yeah, let's forget about it and we'll come back in March. But if you have all that time off and then suddenly it dawns on you, you've got like a thousand bags of top dressing to spread and you've got loads of scary firing to do and you've got to work from dawn till dusk when you've not been doing anything. It's a lot of work. It's a lot to get your head around and a lot to start getting motivated for. So if we just keep ourselves going little by little, bit by bit, we never actually stop. So it's just a case, like I say, keep going. Customer will be happy. I am happy, it makes me feel good. We're going to Lincoln tonight. Three points in the bag, maybe. We did on Tuesday at Lincoln. As you saw, great result. Will it be the same again? So I'm in a good frame of mind. Even the sun may be shining a little bit just through the clouds there. So yeah, so I just like to keep myself motivated by getting a bit of the lawn done. And we can, if your lawn's wet through, obviously not, but you can, if it isn't. And you could say, well, I don't have a sky fire, but you can get a cheaper version of that. Yeah, the Sterling, I've got one, but I didn't have one 20 years ago when I first started. I was using an electric Black & Decker one. So I've worked my way up. So I don't be thinking I've just landed out of the sky and got an Alex Sterling. I've worked my way up. My first ever petrol lawn mower was, was a, a, an old Suffolk Punch. That, that was in 2000, I bought that or maybe 99 even, from this uh, little shop on Bradshaw Road in Bolton. He's not there now, he's old. You know, he's probably no longer with us, it's 20, 24 years ago. But that was the first one and I just whipped my way up. My, sec my, my first ever cylinder was a Qualcast Concorde E30 at my mum's shed. Rusty as hell, but it did a good job of cutting. And then I got a little push one from, I think it was like, uh, do it all for, for about £15 pound with the money I'd earned from doing a few gardens and my younger brother ruined it he didn't clean it and it got all messy I was, I was trying to keep on top of it so I had a right go at him and uh, caused a bit of uh, a bit of friction that caused a bit of a fight because he didn't respect the tools and then my then I got the Suffolk Punch and then in 2008 I got an act called Balmoral and in those days you got the silly, you got the uh, scary fence attachment free, so you could still use that today in this machine. It, all you have to do is a conversion kit, but it still fits in the Allen mowers. It still fits, so I, I didn't take advantage of that. Uh, but well, I did actually. I lie, and I've still got it, but it's in the 20 inch. I, I bought buying 20 inch then, but they won't fit in my van now because I had a bigger van back then. Uh, I had a Transit, which was just slightly bigger, so I could fit it in. And then, obviously, I've just been with the Alec Kensingtons, and then I've got the Sterling, which actually took me like 20 odd years to get to that, that point. So, yeah, you've got to start somewhere. There's a cylinder for all, there's a scarifier for all. you just got to find it. So, anyway, enough of me. We've got to walk down here. And it does look good, I mean, I must admit. I'm really pleased where it's come from since uh, in eight, ten, what is it, uh, just over 11 days since the last game. Bottom corner here, a bit mucky just because it's in the dark. But let's look this way. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy with that. Looks better this side actually. 
So in the summer, I think we're going to get some better footage from this angle. Yeah, really pleased. But I can't film from this angle because I've nowhere to put it. It's a dead end. But yeah, I think in the summer we're going to be laughing. Anyway, let's go get my other side. So before we crack on with the other side, I just wanted to show you that we've still got two batteries left. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to scarify this. In my last video, like in this video, I went that way. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to go this way so that when the customer drives up, you can see it and it's going to look fantastic. So i just got to work out what line I'm going to go with. I think I'm just going to follow the wall for now and then we'll see where we end up. I think that's best. New lawn, so I'm not yet knowledgeable about all the different lines and stuff and what's best so we'll just learn that as we go Just scarified and cut this with a cylinder, it looks great, really happy with this side. I think this going forward is going to be the best angle because we've got the best chances on stripes, I think. Might be wrong, we'll wait to the summer, but the winter definitely, it's a good going this way. So I'll go and pack up and then I think we'll call this one done. <laughs> that's this video done hopefully you've enjoyed it and it's given you some motivation to get out in the garden and do something not necessarily lawn related but just garden related there's plenty of things to be getting on with the number one tip i can give you at the minute is just keep on top of your moss you'll find all the products that you need for that at my website danielhubertlawnexpert.co.uk and that's it for now so we will see you next time when i can guarantee we'll be doing something else lawn related so until then take care and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.